Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to review the Tenacore Curtom 3 holster for the SIG P365 and the SIG X Macro. Before I get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. I would also like to notate something before I start the review. At first I wasn't sure how to pronounce this holster's name. When you go on Tenacore's website, the actual pronunciation for this holster is Curtum, not Sertum. Now let's get on with the review. This holster is CNC'd from thermoplastic material and is very well made. It's optimized for both appendix and hip carry. It also doesn't have any extra material that's not needed. This is good because the holster won't be bulky, which will make it more comfortable to use and easier to conceal. Speaking about ease of concealment, this holster has a built-in caming bar for no extra cost. A caming bar is essentially a wing that you would normally see on some other holsters. This caming bar helps push the grip of your gun into your body by pushing against your belt. It also comes with three different sizes of caming bars quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. You can slide the caming bar up and down to get the perfect height to meet with your belt. One of the most important reasons why I really like this caming bar is because you won't slam your knuckles into it when you're trying to draw from the holster. When picking your holster on Tenacore's website, they give you multiple clip options to choose from. The options are closed soft loops, snap loops, T1 belt clip by Discrete Carry Concepts. The reason I went with the T1 belt clips is because I've used them in the past and I prefer this type of clip. They're durable and once you clip them onto your belt, they're not going anywhere. You get 30 degrees of cant and almost one inch of ride height adjustment. The P365 holster covers a quarter of the magazine release while the X Macro version covers half of the magazine release. And both the P365 and the X Macro holsters have a mid-height sweat guard. Also, the P365 version of the Curtom 3 is compatible with both the regular P365 and the P365XL, which also means you could run a threaded barrel with your regular P365 or P365X. I also checked to see if this holster would work with a Parker Mountain Machine compensator on a regular P365, and I'm sad to say it doesn't work. I think the PMM compensator is slightly wider than the slide, and that's why it doesn't fit. The Curtom 3 is compatible with suppressor height sights and mounted red dots. It also has dual tension screws that give you a subtle retention adjustability. Those were all the features I thought were worth highlighting, but before I tell you my experience EDCing this holster, I wanted to point out one thing. As you can see here, I added a wedge to this holster. Matter of fact, I add a wedge to all my in the waistband holsters. In my opinion, you should always add a wedge because it makes your holster way more comfortable and it helps you not print as much because it pushes the rear of your slide into your body. Now let's talk about how it was EDCing this holster for the last three to four weeks. I have the Curtom 3 holster for the X Macro and the regular P365. I used the regular P365 holster for a little bit just to make sure everything worked well and there were no outstanding issues. I'm happy to say that there was no issues to report with this version of the Curtom 3, but I EDC the X Macro way more for two reasons. The first reason is because I'm currently reviewing the X Macro and the other reason is because the X Macro is larger than the regular P365. My train of thought here was if I can comfortably not print with the X Macro then concealing the regular P365 will be a breeze. I was shocked how easy this holster made it to conceal the X Macro. I didn't have to do anything special not to print, I just put it on and went about my day. The one thing I want to mention was, when I would clip this holster onto my EDC belt, most times I would have to pull the pants material up into the holster's clip separately. I think the clip doesn't have a lot of space to easily accommodate both the EDC belt and the material in my pants. Once I pull the pants material up into the clip, everything fit fine. This isn't a deal breaker, but I'm hoping that over time the clips will loosen up a little bit and this won't happen as much. But other than that, this is a great holster. Now let's go over the pros and cons. The pros are, this holster has a minimalistic design, works great for both appendix and hip carry, positive click when holstering, comes with built-in adjustable camming bar, camming bar doesn't get in the way while drawing from the holster, easy to conceal the larger X macro, decent price, ships quick, and made in America. The only con that I can think of is the issue where the pants material fitting in the the clip. But that's not so much a holster issue, that's more like a T1 belt clip issue. That being said, I would definitely recommend a Tenacore Curtom 3 for anyone looking for an EDC holster. If you have any questions, please put in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and tell a friend about the channel. Every subscriber helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.